Scottsdale Councilman Guy Phillips was working the crowd at an unmasked rally earlier this week. That's when he took the stage and said, I can't breathe, then ripped off his mask. Those were the same last words spoken by George Floyd. I can't breathe um, is, is, a, is a cry to see our humanity, see us, honor us, and don't abuse us um, to, to anyone, especially those in law enforcement. Roy Tatum is the president of the East Valley NAACP and sent this letter to the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors and Scottsdale Mayor Jim Lane, calling for Phillips to resign. Unfortunately, he's an embarrassment to the city and he's an embarrassment to our community and many Scottsdale residents who are affiliated with the East Valley NAACP feels that Guy Phillips should do the honorable thing and step down. The letter states Phillips' actions and words are callous, reckless, potentially life-threatening, and could extend the negative impact of the pandemic on our economy. He will tarnish the good reputation that Scottsdale has established and, and achieved over the years as being a welcoming, friendly, tourist-friendly city. Um, and maybe businesses will reconsider doing business in Scottsdale if Guy Phillips remains on the council. Phillips believes the mask mandate is not warranted and will place undue hardships on local businesses. He thinks a program of education and best practices is a better way of handling the spread of COVID-19. Currently, a petition is circulating for Phillips' resignation. It has more than 7,000 signatures. The United Scottsdale Firefighters Association told Guy Phillips tonight that they no longer support him. And Phillips also released a statement tonight saying... My comments at the anti-mask rally that day were in no way meant to be directed toward or connected with George Floyd or any rallying cry with regards to Derek Chauvin's maniacal assault on Mr. Floyd. No one I know, including myself, believes that the killing of Mr. Floyd was anything but tragic. My comments were related to the difficulty that many have breathing through a neoprene mask in 110 degree temperatures. Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.